Hey guys, Fox Bus Studios here. I was recently watching an interview where George Martin said that he used the unreliable narrator trope to great effect. He said that it makes it very difficult for the readers to propound a fan theory that will have basis in fact, since what they are reading is obviously from the point of view of a biased character. While doing some research, I came across a parable called the blind men and the elephant. It was quite interesting. There were five blind men. They had heard that a strange animal called an elephant had been brought to the town, but none of them were aware of its shape and form. Out of intense curiosity, they said, oh, we must inspect it and know it by touch. The first man, let's call him A, who felt its tail, described it as a rope. As for the next person, B, whose hand was upon its leg, said the elephant is a pillar like a tree trunk. C, the third fellow at its tusk, stated that the elephant is hard, smooth and like a spear. Stay away from it, he warned. In case of the fourth person, D, whose hand landed on the trunk, he said, ah, this is definitely like a thick snake. The last blind man who placed his hand upon the side said the elephant, this is obviously a wall, the townspeople have fooled us. Where did this story originate from? Let's go on to see that. According to Udana, the Buddhist scriptures in Pali, it originated in India in the first millennium BC. What does it say? That humans extrapolate from incomplete data and form conclusions of their own which they then believe to be the absolute truth. This will give rise to obvious problems as is evident in our current world. This gives rise to a problem called cognitive dissonance which means that people often reject things and beliefs that are not consistent with what they interpret to be right. This is a kind of a mental gymnastics done by the brain that reduces psychological stress and discomfort. An American poet, Gottfried Sachse, tells the story The Blind Men and the Elephant. It's a retelling of the same story and it's as a poem, which we will see now. He applies a theological aspect to the story and says, each human experiences only a part of what God actually is. This is one of the attributable reasons as to why there are multiple differing beliefs. Mr. Sachse's poem goes like this, And so these men of Hindustan disputed loud and long, each in his own opinion, exceeding stiff and strong, though each was partly in the right and all were in the wrong. Ironically or unironically, the story itself has been retold and interpreted in different ways. In Hinduism, the Rig Veda concocts a story in which the blind men come to a consensus that they had seen a different beast each. Under the Jain scriptures, it is told as a parable with a moral that all viewpoints must be taken into consideration before concluding what is the right thing. All Tamil scripture called the Tirukkural also expounds on the necessity of researching before coming to a conclusion. The Buddha compares various preachers and scholars blinded by their own beliefs to the men in the story who are blinded. Sufism takes an alternate route with the men not being blind and Japanese culture likens the story to ordinary people not being able to understand great people's works and their minds. Across ages, the parable has held strong even lending itself to science and pop culture. A more popular example would be the wave-particle duality of light and the way that the human body responds specifically to individual infections. It is called as a polyclonal response to infection. If you want to read more, I have linked to the resources at the end of the video. There also exists a comedic switcheroo, also known as a role reversal, where four blind elephants are arguing about a human being. They eventually decide that the human beings are flat. The most popular derivative of this parable is likely Rashomon, the movie directed by Akira Kurosawa, where each witness gives contradictory reports to the same event. It even gave way to an eponym known as the Rashomon effect. A trope commonly used in books and movies to mislead the viewer or the reader is called the unreliable narrator. It has been used in Game of Thrones, Agatha Christie's Murder of Roger Ackroyd and movies like Usual Suspects, Big Fish and The Forest Gum. I'll end with a quote by Werner Heisenberg and I've listed my sources that I use for research. Have fun reading guys. Thank you.